fam, welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Whatnots. Oh man, I tell you what, that drive in this morning was horrendous. I am certainly glad that I do not have to deal with that sort of crapola anymore. I can tell you for free right now, I do not miss that traffic in any way, shape or form. <sighs> but all I can say is I'm glad that we made it to work on time because we are hungry for bracky. We, uh, I've got it in microwave at the moment, a little bit of porridge, uh, especially after a frosty morning this morning. It was about uh, two degrees under the patio, zero within the car, as you guys would have seen with the first little clip, frosty breath inside the car. It was ruddy cold. So what are we going to have this morning to warm up our bones? The same thing that we had yesterday and the day before. Trusty old oatmeal and coffee. And I do apologise for the screen at the moment, guys. It is strobing a little bit. The lights aren't exactly the greatest in here. Really, the only way that we can really stop it is if we go outside. And I'm not really in the mood to go out the frosty cold. You know, it looks like it's going to be a relatively good day today, methinks. It's hardly any wind if you can uh, see those stacks of bloody steam coming up. Looks like it's going to be a relatively good day. Not much wind, hardly any clouds. It's a little bit over there, but, you know, nothing to worry about. We've got the nephews coming around this afternoon too for the weekend. Uh, it looks like the weather's going to be good for the weekend as well, so that means that we can get a bit of a uh, fire going too. That's always a bonus, because it's not very often we get uh, get good weather for the weekend. Not only that, we've got to work on the tomorrow, Saturday, first weekend, and quite some time. It's almost that time, guys. We are on our way to finish off the day. We've got about eight hours left of the day to get done. Not only that, we have an hour lunch today, which I'm happy at four. It's not very often that happens like that. day today has been guys we're not far off home and I tell you what we are gonna go and get some stiff drinks for tonight I can tell you that for free right now uh, I can tell you right now it is good to get these bloody boots off but unfortunately we've got to put these boots back on tomorrow because we've got a stock take to get sorted out which I am not looking forward to getting done to be absolutely honest with you I would much rather be sitting or in this case lying down in that bed as you guys can imagine we are really really bloody exhausted this week and today was one of those days where it dragged on a little too much for my liking but uh, it is done and we're about to get that Good old stiff drink down the hatch, or I should say six. Uh, well, that's it, guys. A few drinks down. We are stuffed. It's only 9 p.m. I can tell you right now, I cannot do any more today. I'm at my limit because uh, today's been one of those days where it's just dragged on for too long. It's weak, dragged on for too long. Just nothing went right, but we're here. We made it to Friday, so that's always a good thing. Not only that, we made it to, uh, made it home every day of the week, so that's always another good thing. I had some games with the boys, and they were pretty happy, so that's all we can ask for. So for now, we're going to go to bed, and we'll do it all again tomorrow, guys. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Well, guys, it's not as fresh as what it was the other day, but it is equally the same. Certainly feels it. Still got that little. Can't probably can't really see it, but uh, frost breath this morning. So another day, another dollar. We won't be far off going. I think we got another five minutes before we leave, so that'll give me enough time to go get some bricky down the hatch. If not, grab it and then get ready at work. Mm, no ice this morning. It's not as cold. So that means that these doors are going to open up like nothing. Like yesterday, this one here is the one that I opened. 
and it had ice through it. Ah, yes, the morning ritual. Gotta get the mist off the windows. Best way to do that is with the simple tap water. So, I do that every morning, especially with a bit of frost. Did someone say two double egg and bacon muffins? Did someone say cappuccino? They went down well guys. That would have been four months since I've had something like that. Especially on a Saturday. It's not very often that we get to work on a Saturday. Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and can barely see the city from here. It's bloody that foggy at the moment, it's ridiculous, it's crazy. So we're about, I'd say, halfway through getting this job done today. Can't wait to get out of here and get on home. We're just on a quick little break at the moment. Decided to come up and grab some drinks for me and co-worker to get this job done. Because we are... Um, doing what we call skinning. So we skin, cut barcode, count them and put them into the system and then we just move on to the next thing which is so much easier than the rest that we've done in the past. It is so much easier. Well didn't we get spoiled today guys? I had a bit of a free lunch of Subway. I had about two wraps and a small piece of uh, six inch and a couple of cookies. That was a nice little, uh, nice little thing for lunch. Now it's time for us to go home, so we're heading out as we speak. Ah, good home, sweet home, guys. I am looking forward to having a little bit of downtime this afternoon, just for a couple of hours. And we can go out the back, start that little fire up, because the weather is gorgeous for it. Because look at this occasional clouds, but no wind. Absolutely no wind out there. That is what I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to is having that little fire. <sighs> now it's time to have a little sit down and relax. Because we've been looking forward to, uh, as you would say, having a little bit of downtime. Well, it's been a few hours since we've uh, been home, sat down and had a bit of downtime. We are now out the back, as you can tell. We do have fly plane flying over at the moment but there is one thing that we do have going at the moment and that is our trusty little fire as you guys can tell i've set it up in such a way where the center of the fire is going to hopefully light up pretty darn quick and catch the rest of the firewood up because we do have a few pieces of wood left from last weekend or the weekend before we're gonna go down and grab the red gum that we've got sitting in the in the back of the shed. So I'll get this started, get the heat going, and enjoy the night because we have been looking forward to this for some time. But a downtime like this is absolutely needed, especially after a busy week that we've had. And uh, don't get me wrong, I still love work, no doubt. And it's just this is one of those moments where I'm a little bit sick and tired of sitting inside, sick and tired of working. Just need a little bit of nature and this is exactly what the doctor ordered i'm hoping it will catch and we can have a nice decent fire for tonight so i'm gonna let that do its job and hopefully we can have a roaring fire for later on today so yeah we'll see how we go i don't know what it is about having a fire guys whether it's a flame or the smell or the view that you get from it it's just awesome either way I love the crackling, I love seeing the flames shooting in the sky, seeing the smoke just rise up into the air, that's my favourite part of it, but I still, there's just something about it, regardless of what we love about it, there is always something about it. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've just split up some wood that we've had saving up in the shed, and I will openly admit, I have a lot more respect for those who can split wood easily enough. And I know a lot of people would know what that is. It's a bit of pine, or not pine, but uh, gum. 
Uh, I'm not sure what kind of gum, but I know it's a gum. So that piece back there is cut up. There's uh, two pieces there. And as you can tell, there's two pieces on there. And I can tell you right now, guys, that has knocked the wind out of me. The, that axe right there was a second option that I decided to go grab it. I was using a much bigger um, cutting surface axe, which is about two kilos or um, three pound, two pounds, it's like 200 grams. It's like a two kilo axe, which is like three pound or something like that. Uh, I have to research that up to give you guys an accurate, more uh, size comparison. Because that axe there, that is only a tiny little thing, but it cut through a lot better when it comes to striking the wood. So I have learned a little valuable lesson to use a cracked axe when it comes to splitting wood. Well, she is well and truly lit, guys. I am not going to be using too many pieces of wood tonight, I don't think. Still got a few pieces there and a few pieces there. So it's going to go well tonight, methinks. All right, quick break from the fire. Time to go and have some dinner. I think it's a chicken tonight, I'm not quite sure. But uh, either way, we are hungry. It's time to go and have some food. and cozy next to the fire as well and truly needed uh, certainly recharged the batteries up real well real well ended up coming back in at about mm, 10 o'clock stayed up until about 11 30 just watching some videos and then went to bed and then we've been up for the last half an hour 45 now we're going to go and get some egg and bacons on bread it's going to be nice that was a very pleasant feed of bacon and eggs this morning. We are stuffed for the ball. <sighs> Definitely love a good feed of bacon and eggs in the morning. Especially with a big night that we had with uh, certain hard uh, stick drinks and sitting at the back watching the fire. So uh, today's not going to be much of a productive day. We're just going to sit back and relax. And we're going to get some washing done. Well, three out a day, we do about two loads if we're lucky, and sit back and relax for the rest of the day, watch a couple movies, possibly some games, see how it all goes, but for now, we're just going to sit back and relax, we're going to have another fire tonight, have some uh, cooked up uh, sausages on the fire tonight, which is always going to be good, and we had the same thing, as you guys know, about last week or the week before, so we're going to have it again tonight with the these nephews, so that'll always be good. But for the time being, we're gonna sit back, relax, get some washing done, and enjoy the rest of the day. So we'll uh, leave it at that, guys. Until the next time, keep it easy.